。您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是商用英语绘画下。I'm your teacher Lisa. I hope you are having a good day and are looking forward to today's lesson. And I'm Lynn, and it's good to have you back with us.、Uh, Lynn, before we move on to today's lesson, could you、uh, take some time to review、uh, uh, what we have covered in last le chapter? Well, students, I hope you remember as well. But let's review together. Last week we talked about repetition and asking for repetition. So we learned with sentences such as using "I beg your pardon." What did you say? Could you please repeat that? Could you say that again, please? And then we moved on to talking about volume and、uh, speed. So we used phrases such as "Could you please speak more slowly?" "Please speak a little more slowly." And "Would you mind speaking in a louder voice?" And today we're going to、uh, move on to a new chapter. It's another business talk.、Uh, it's a sales talk. Well, why don't we take a closer look at our chapter focus? And here we go. Focus number one: to learn appropriate ways to ask for meaning or clarification. 第一个学习的焦点是学习怎么样澄清别人的语音，哈，语语义。Focus number two, to learn how to provide meaning and clarification. 第二个学习的焦点是提供来说明你的本意和澄清你的意思。Well, in our first conversation today, Lisa, we'll be looking at a sales representative. He'll be introducing a new product, and to his company manager. Is purchasing manager.、Mm -hmm. Well, today, the first ah, short film is about a company sales representative, a sales representative or a sales rep. He goes to the company like a purchasing manager, that is, the head of the department, to sell his new product. This is the first short film. But before we watch our skit, there are a couple of key words I like to take a closer look at them before we play the skit for our students. Okay, let's watch. 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 Okay, The first one is the selling point.、Mm -hmm. What is the selling point? Well, a selling point is the thing that makes you want to buy something. Something that makes this attract you or want to to get this product. Okay, selling point、mm -hmm. 就是卖点哈，就是这个的卖点让人家很吸引别人，好像呃就是。比较能够达成成交哈，这个叫 selling point. Well, maybe help us do that to give one example. My、mm -hmm. my help. Well, this camera's selling point is its small size. Okay, 这个 camera 的卖点就是 its small size， 就是它的这个小巧哈，呃，是它的卖点。In our skit,、uh, the sales rep said that the the product will debut in September. Debut, Lin. What does that mean? Debut.、Mm -hmm. It's talking about something's first appearance.、Uh, in this situation, we're talking about a product's first appearance on the market. But often we can talk about it being a performer of some sort first appearance. 嗯哼，同学，这个字大概你啊、uh, 有时候会在啊、uh, 影影剧圈听到这个字 debut， 比如说首次登台、首次公开亮相，这个字叫 debut 啊、uh, ，D E B U T。Debut, 但是这个产品出首次啊呃进入到市场，这个字也可以用 debut 来表示。好，现在我们就赶快来听我们第一个 conversation. Good morning, I'm Jason Weiler, Asia Sales Representative of Origin Digital Cameras. I'm here to introduce one of our new models, available soon. 
Nice to meet you, Mr. Waller. I'm Ling Lee. I've been expecting you. Have a seat. Where would you like to start? I think that you're familiar with our present models. So let me give you a brief overview of what will be coming on the market this fall. After extensive research, the much anticipated AB Series 205 model will be making its debut this in September. You'll have to forgive me, but what does debut mean? My English isn't very good, I'm afraid. No problem at all. My Chinese is not up to par either. Thank you for letting me introduce a spectacular new digital camera to you in English. Debut means that this is the product's first appearance on the market. Okay, I'm with you. Go ahead. I guess the place to start is to talk about some of the new features of this compact camera. For example? Well, it has all the expected features of a digital camera in its price range. 10.1 megapixels, 4x optical zoom, built-in red eye reduction, and IS. What do you mean by IS? Oh, sorry. It stands for image stabilization. It's the technology that increases the stability of an image so that you don't end up with blurred pictures. Sounds like a function most of us need on a camera. Exactly. There's even a built-in face detection function. Meaning? Face detection means that the camera can find and lock onto a face in the picture and adjust for the amount of exposure. That's pretty cool, especially when you're shooting into bright lights. And as far as I'm concerned, the real selling point is the price. This amazingly easy to use camera comes with a low price tag of 150 US dollars. We've already had a lot of interest in this model from reviewers. Did you bring one with you? I like to see the size and how it handles. Sure. You know, students, when we are sending a letter, we need to write address on the envelope. 写那个柱子, address on the envelope. So this situation, address is a noun, 是一个名词. But address can be used in another way. At that time, address become a verb, 成为一个动词, 这时候发音也不一样, 变成address. So I'll, uh, we use this word in our skit. Mm -hmm. So Lin, maybe you can talk about address. Uh, what, what does that mean? It means we're trying to address a problem, address an issue. Could be also, like I said, to a problem or even to a question. You could address a question. Okay, address, mm -hmm. 就是我要提到这个问题, 而且我们要试住, 试着要解决, 说明这个问题, Give us students uh, one example. Sure. Please address the problem of your employees always arriving late to work. Okay, uh, please address the problem of your employee. 请你提出这个, 对你的员工提出这个问题, 因为 they always arrive in late to work, 总是上班迟到, address, the issue, address this problem. There's one other idiom uh, appear in our conversation. It, calls, it is call someone on the carpet. I like that idiom, <laughs> uh, and I know I learned uh, this idiom by, from this program. Mm -hmm. So, Lin, can you give us more? Uh, explanation to this war, mm -hmm, to sure. this idiom. To call someone on the carpet sounds like it might be something good, but actually it's something very negative. It means to reprimand someone, to somehow to, to cause them to, to know they've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. Call someone to the carpet. Okay, call someone on the carpet. 把人叫到地毯上来,这不是好事。这个是对人批评严厉的斥责的时候会用这个 uh, Call someone on the carpet. Well, Lin老师给我们一个 uh, one example. All right. The boss called him on the carpet for losing his temper with the customer. The boss called him on the carpet. Okay, 老板严厉斥责他 for losing his temper with the customer. 因为对顾客发脾气了, call, the boss call him on the, rap, uh, on the carpet. 老板斥责了他 for doing something, for losing his temper with the customer. There's a one more idiom I like to talk about it before we, show, we play the skit. That was a up to par. Up to par, yes, mm -hmm. Lisa. Par means the average or just the, the, the medium. So here, when we say something is up to par, we're saying it's up to the average, it's up to the medium level. 
Okay, mm -hmm. and usually this uh, uh, used with the negative. It uh, can be used. Very often it's used in a negative form. Something is not up to par. Okay, okay, up to par. Par, 老师说这是一个水平,一个平均点. Up to par, 就是达到那个水平. Okay, 达到水平, 通常呢,这个字也常常跟否定句用在一起, 就是说,你不达到水平, uh, not up to par. Okay, Lin, one mm -hmm. example. All right. Mm -hmm. Your performance hasn't been up to par lately. Are you okay? Uh, 你的演出, 你的表现, 最近不太好, 不, 没有达到水平, 没有达到平常的水准, are you okay? Your performance hasn't been up to par lately. Are you okay? All right, I think students, that they, they, that's enough for now. Uh, that's a play conversation too. In conversation too, a CEO and a manager are talking about a personnel problem. What uh, was well, watch the skit and you uh, pay attention to these idioms we just uh, we just uh, uh, shared. Okay, here we go. Robert, I think we both know we have a problem with Jane Farah. As her direct supervisor, do you have any ideas how to address this issue? First, let me say that I agree there is a problem, but I'm convinced that by talking to her again about her behavior will more than likely resolve this. Are you sure? I know she was called in the carpet before for making racial remarks. If this continues, our firm could have a lawsuit on its hands. What do you mean by called on the carpet? Sorry for the idiom. I mean, she was reprimanded before for remarks she made while working at her job. Would you mind explaining this in a little more detail? I didn't know she had been, this had been an issue in her previous job. Yes, it seems she was such an outstanding employee in other areas, her last employer didn't want to make a big issue of it. But it had caused some problems among her staff. Could you be more specific about Jane causing some problems? I think an example might help me understand better. Well, to be frank, she insulted a worker of another race, saying she was lazy, stupid, and useless. Aren't we being a little unfair here? Maybe she was meaning to say a particular person was like this, not an entire race. I understand your point, but it seemed to happen more than once in regard to other minorities. Is that so? I think we have to do something to alleviate this problem. What do you mean when you say alleviate? Okay, Robert, let me be direct. I don't see any other way out of this except letting Jane go. We have to think of the good of the firm. After all, she has been warned. Mm, that wasn't the answer I was hoping for, but you're the boss. Much anticipated, looked forward to, excitedly waiting for something. The much anticipated new computer chip has just gone on sale in Taiwan. 大家引進期盼的新電腦晶片在台灣剛上市. Spectacular, extremely impressive. He gave a spectacular effort. Although he failed. 雖然他失敗了, Compact. Smaller than most things of the same kind. Ford's compact car was the best selling model for the company this year. Stability, a situation in which things happen as they should and there are no harm, harmful changes. Profit on this product depends on the stability of the economy.
blurred, a shape that is difficult to see clearly. It was difficult to identify the people in the blurred picture. 很难在模糊的照片里指认人。Detection, the process of noticing or discovering something, especially when it is not obvious. A radar detection device is often used to prevent getting a speeding ticket. 雷达侦测器常用来预防被开超速罚单 Exposure. The amount of time that you allow light to reach the film in a camera when taking a photograph. Make sure the exposure is just right on this picture. 要确定照片的曝光时间正确 Have something on our hands. Used to express something bad will happen that will have to be dealt with. If we hire him, we'll have trouble on our hands. 如果我们解雇他，我们将有麻烦。Reprimand, to tell someone officially and in a serious way that something they have done is wrong. She was reprimanded for not doing what the boss told her to do. 他被斥责，因为没有照老板的指示做事。Alleviate to make something less painful, severe, or serious. Relieve to try to alleviate the problem. She worked overtime. 为了减轻缓和的这个困难状况，她超时的工作。All right, it's time to repeat our key words and phrases, and listen to my Chinese translation. Much anticipated, 极其期待的 The much anticipated last Harry Potter book has been released. 引颈期盼的哈利波特一书最近上市 Spectacular, 精彩的出色的 His spectacular contributions. To this project led to its success. 他出色的贡献促使这个案子成功 Compact, 小巧实用 These compact chopsticks make them convenient to carry in a purse. 这些小巧实用的筷子很方便携带在皮包里 Stability, 稳定性 Stock prices depend on the stability of the currency. 股票的价值取决于货币的稳定性 Blurred, 模糊的 His blurred vision caused the accident. 他模糊的视力造成了这个意外 Detection, 侦测 A movement detection alarm was placed at the main door. To catch the thief, 移动的侦测器安置在大门上，用来抓小偷的。Exposure, 曝光。In a photograph, the amount of exposure is essential to creating the right effect. 曝光的多少是照好相片重要的因素。Have something on our hands. 将有麻烦了。If he is given a pay raise, we'll have a mess on our hands. 如果他加薪，我们将有麻烦了。Reprimand. 训斥、斥责。The team was reprimanded for not working hard enough on the project. 这个团队啊、uh, 被斥责了，因为他们工作不够努力。Alleviate. 减轻、缓和。World powers try to alleviate suffering by sending aid. 世界强国啊，给予救援以减轻痛苦。All right, students. We'll take a little short break before we come back. After we come back, we have more ah、uh, for you. It will moving on to situations.
sometimes you don't understand a word or something someone has said, so you, you need to ask for further clarification. So you ask for more meaning. Maybe you ask for even an example to help you to understand. Okay, 今天的 situation 就是帮助同学，当有人说话你不太确定他的意思的时候，你要请求他更多的给你解释，或者是你要。回答别人问你问题，你要解释 provide meaning。所以现在我们就来看怎么说。令老师会来问我，然后我会回答他。What does estimate mean? Estimate means to say what you think amount an amount or a value will be. OK， 这时候你要问人家这个字你不懂 ，What does estimate mean？ 好，那个字不懂，你就直接这么说。All right, 然后你就可以解释 estimate means 什么，你就说明了。How about next one? What is the meaning of CEO? The meaning of CEO is the chief executive officer. 你问人家 what is the meaning of 什么什么，你听不懂的字，你就后边放着 what is the meaning of 什么，然后你就解释 the meaning of something 什么 is. What is the definition of anticipation? The definition of anticipation is expect or look forward to. What is the definition of something? 当你对一些字或解释不清楚的时候，你就可以用 What is the definition of 那个字 How do you define disorientation? Disorientation means the loss of one's sense of direction. 啊，这个字比较难。当你不懂的时候，你就可以问对方说 ，How did you define? How do you define 这个字？那么你就可以从他的解释知道了这个意思。这是当你要知道别人的意思的时候，是你用刚刚所所学习的。那么如果你要请别人澄清他所说的。Okay, ask for clarification. What do you do? 我们现在来看字幕的练习。What do you mean by that remark? I mean that I think you're being unfair. What do you mean by that remark? 你要请他再一次的 ask him for 他的进一步的澄清啊，他就可以，你就可以这么问。Okay, 下一个。Like what? Huh? For example? Okay, let me see if I can give you an example. Okay, 看到令老师刚刚的三个都是请求别人再一次的说明、澄清他所说的，你不太懂，说 like what? Huh? For example? 还给我新的多一点的呃、uh, example 啊。好，我们还有下一个让你看。Would you mind explaining that in a little more detail? What I mean when I say she's shy is that she never talks with anyone unless the other person begins the conversation. Okay, 你看这时候对方不太懂，他要求你 Would you mind explaining that in a little more detail? 哎，可不可以请你更解释给我听？好像他不懂。好，这时候老师老师说了 What I mean when I say she's shy is that she never talks with anyone unless The other person begins the conversation. Ah, 我的意思为什么说他很害羞？是因为他从来不跟啊这个呃任任何人说话说话，除非对方啊开始跟他谈话。所以我就进一步的说明了呃你所不太懂的哈，让他了解为什么我说 she is shy. All right, 同学们，现在老师要 replay the conversation one and two for you without subtitles. Okay, so you can pay attention to those key words and phrases we just learned. Good morning, I'm Jason Weiler, Asia Sales Representative of Origin Digital Cameras. I'm here to introduce one of our new models, available soon. Nice to meet you, Mr. Weiler. I'm Lin Li. I've been expecting you. Have a seat. Where would you like to start? I think that you're familiar with our present models. So let me give you a brief overview of what will be coming on the market this fall. After extensive research, the much anticipated AB Series 205 model will be making its debut this in September. 
You have to forgive me, but what does debut mean? My English isn't very good, I'm afraid. No problem at all. My Chinese is not up to par either. Thank you for letting me introduce a spectacular new digital camera to you in English. Debut means that this is the product's first appearance on the market. Okay, I'm with you. Go ahead. I guess the place to start is to talk about some of the new features of this compact camera. For example? Well, it has all the expected features of a digital camera in its price range. 10.1 megapixels, 4x optical zoom, built-in red eye reduction, and IS. What do you mean by IS? Oh, sorry. It stands for image stabilization. It's the technology that increases the stability of an image so that you don't end up with blurred pictures. Sounds like a function most of us need on a camera. Exactly. There's even a built-in face detection function. Meaning? Face detection means that the camera can find and lock onto a face in the picture and adjust for the amount of exposure. That's pretty cool, especially when you're shooting into bright lights. And as far as I'm concerned, the real selling point is the price. This amazingly easy to use camera comes with a low price tag of 150 US dollars. We've already had a lot of interest in this model from reviewers. Did you bring one with you? I'd like to see the size and how it handles. Sure. Robert, I think we both know we have a problem with Jane Farah. As her direct supervisor, do you have any ideas how to address this issue? First, let me say that I agree there is a problem, but I'm convinced that by talking to her again about her behavior, we'll more than likely resolve this. Are you sure? I know she was called in the carpet before for making racial remarks. If this continues, our firm could have a lawsuit on its hands. What do you mean by called on the carpet? Sorry for the idiom. I mean, she was reprimanded before for remarks she made while working at her job. Would you mind explaining this in a little more detail? I didn't know she had been, this had been an issue in her previous job. Yes, it seems she was such an outstanding employee in other areas, her last employer didn't want to make a big issue of it. But it had caused some problems among her staff. Could you be more specific about Jane causing some problems? I think an example might help me understand better. Well, to be frank, she insulted a worker of another race, saying she was lazy, stupid, and useless. Aren't we being a little unfair here? Maybe she was meaning to say a particular person was like this, not an entire race. I understand your point, but it seemed to happen more than once in regard to other minorities. Is that so? I think we have to do something to alleviate this problem. What do you mean when you say alleviate? Okay, Robert, let me be direct. I don't see any other way out of this except letting Jane go. We have to think of the good of the firm. After all, she has been warned. Hmm. That wasn't the answer I was hoping for, but you're the boss. All right, Lynn, I think it's time to go through those main mm -hmm. points of this lesson. Okay, that's a great idea, Lisa. Today we learned how to ask for and to give clarification. We use questions such as, what does that mean? Or what do you mean by, to get more clarification? And we also learned how to provide meaning and clarification. Okay, students, we better let you go, and I hope you will find some opportunities to practice what we have learned in our lesson. And uh, practice makes perfect, don't forget. Okay, I hope you'll see you back next week, and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. 预测上更是要精准
我是吴德荣，我在华视。